certainly did that. How was that out there today? Yeah, it was good fun. Um, obviously, new at me partner in Devon, and um, you know I thought he started off really well. Um, yeah, he, he got the innings off to a good start, and then I caught up. Um, you know, once we got going, so it was it was a great partnership to set the innings up. Did the pitch play a little bit different today than perhaps the first two there? A little bit. I think um, it was a little bit more even today than, than perhaps it was um, two nights ago. But um, you know, I think the intent that we showed and, and the partnership that we got, we got up front there um, set the game up. How much? Dif how, how different is it for you when you've got someone at the other end who is bad in run and who is tipping the runs over? It's not too difficult at all. You just uh, you still got to look to look to score runs um, and try and get off strike. You know, if you can't hit it for a boundary, so. Um, we just tried to try to do that, and um, you know it worked really well. Obviously, Devon hits different areas to what I do, and you know we worked really well as a partnership today. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think uh, we pride ourselves on on adapting and adapting fast. And um, when we lost the toss, I mean it would have been easy to think that that maybe oh, we're behind the eight ball again. But I thought we bowled and fielded exceptionally well today. Um, I thought some of uh, Kane's, I guess, decision making and stuff as, as well around when he bowled the part-time spinners, and, and remember they were both their first bowl in international cricket today as well. I thought that was superb, and then the way Gupp and, and Dev started the, the innings was sensational, and just set that platform and just allowed us to play the, I guess, the brand of cricket that we want to play. Can I just touch on the World Test Championship. Um, you've obviously got an opponent now in, in, in India. How exciting is that? Oh, it's great. Um, yeah, I mean the nice thing is that. We've known we're going to be there for a while. It's just working out who we play, and and I think India's. I mean, they're a great team. They they have world beaters, I think, right through their team, and, and some very very good players as well. But it, it now, I guess, allows us to start some planning and thinking about that. Probably when we get to the end of the season, we've still got Bangladesh coming here first. Interesting though that it's New Zealand versus India in England, which obviously doesn't happen too much. Is there a I don't think there's any advantage. I mean, India are a very well-travelled team these days. They they play well in all conditions, and I think to get to the final, you have to show that you can win some away from home as well. And they've certainly done that. And and I think uh, if we need a, a reminder at all, I don't think we do. But if we if we did, then think about how they played in Australia as well. I thought they were outstanding over there. Oh, I certainly watched most of the other test match as well. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, there's... I, I love test cricket. I love watching test cricket in, in India as well, so I don't have a problem going home and watching a little bit more and, and, uh, and seeing that. But I guess the way the game's played over there, I, I expect will be different to, to what it'll be like in England as well. But always interesting just to, to see how we play there, considering we're also going to be there at the end of the year as well. This series, we, I mean, we know how you do the test because you're a player. Um, yeah, I think the guys have played well uh, and well against three good opponents as well, and, and well, very good opponents with West Indies, Pakistan, and now Australia. And I think it's exciting that there's been, I guess, some some different players have emerged, and, and you look at a, a Phillips and a Conway, and. and they, they really stamped their mark on our team as well and that's been I think exciting and, and I think the guys are playing with uh, generally a lot of freedom and that's that's great to see. Higher in what way? Oh, don't know. Yeah, I haven't really thought about it too much but I, I, I guess as long as we can keep going out there and, and, and I guess you win games, and I guess that, that looks after itself. But at the end of the day, all we're trying to do is just get a little bit better every day. And we know if we do that, then we're going to be up there with some of the, the best teams in the world. And I think the, the quality of your team over a long period of time um, is seen in the consistency that you play with. And I think we've got better at that. Something I haven't really thought about either, as well, to be honest. But um, the, the depth that we have at the moment, I think, is, is pretty exciting. Um, you know, young guys are stepping up uh, and putting pressure on um, guys that have been there a while. So it's, it's, it's pretty exciting for New Zealand cricket moving forward. Yeah, because yeah, I went and hit a Mecca, yeah. Only because I went and hit a Mecca. <laughs> I'm not sure, I haven't seen one. 
I had very few athletes that I had that really played specifically well with them. Yeah, it, it's feeling really good at the moment. Um, it's just having that that intent to go out and, and actually back myself to hit the ball, um, hit it long and hard. And you know, I managed to get a few away today, today and, and obviously started earlier in the series as well. So nice to have three contributions in the series, and, and but more importantly, actually get a, a series win. Um, it's been a fantastic summer so far, and you know, I wish you want to keep it going. It wasn't so much after that. It was probably before that, that series. Uh, the series started. I actually was hitting a lot of balls um, up in Auckland with uh, Heinrich Muller and Mark O'Donnell uh, and Doug Watson um, back up in Auckland. So there was a lot of work behind the scenes that, that no one else really saw. And you know, I was able to get a little bit of rhythm back and a little bit of feel. And obviously things didn't go that well in Christchurch. But um, no, to get you know, I got a long half volley first ball of the game in Dunedin, and, and from there it was yeah, got a few more out the middle, and, and we were away. Is that Yeah, that, probably that one got me going a bit more. Um, but uh, look, it was, it was nice to just contribute and, to a team win and, and, and go turn that up there. And, and, and then today again to get another a series win was, it was great.